This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, twice the city right here. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? It's uh, it's Wednesday, and uh, what are my machines that make a noise here? Let me see if I can hear it. Okay, it seems to be okay now. Ah, oh, boy. It's one thing or it's another, isn't it? Always. It's always one thing or another. Anyway, how are you? How you doing? How's the family? Uh, how's your How's your holiday season doing so far? Well, mine is, uh, I, I'm Jewish. We don't celebrate this. Okay, so anyway, uh, let me see here. I got to, uh, I got to bring in uh, uh, somebody. I, I have to bring in, let me see here, uh, our old friend and uh, uh, companion, uh, the lovely and attractive, uh, Phil Meyer. Let me see here. Go to Zoom panel. There we go. There he is. Hello. How you doing, Phil? Hey, uh, let me out. I'm a vegan. 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 <laughs> vegan. <laughs> yeah. Vegan. Oh, you know, I'm doing a lot better than, uh, what's his name? Samuel Bankman Freed. I guess you know, he didn't know which full name. I, I don't know. Yeah. He, well, he's got a mother and a father. Mm -hmm. and his father's name is Bankman, and his mother's name is Freed. Mm -hmm. Now, they produced a child that looks like that guy. You know, he, he's definitely got problems. Looks like he's not going to be Freed for a long time. No, no, no. He's the guy that they would beat up before they beat up Tony. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, he's the guy with the, 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 the crypto thing. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, he doesn't have much crypto anymore. Well, and, and neither do a lot of other people, you know. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to feel sorry for all the people that got ripped off by this guy, but I figure, what the hell? I mean, uh, they were they, they were banking on something that was just. Not it was it was a Ponzi scheme. You know, they they used to teach us. Uh, I don't know if it was a Ponzi scheme in the true sense of Ponzi scheme. There was nothing. Okay, William, it was bait and switch. You, you know, the gypsies had well, what it was these scams. is there wasn't all the money he said was there because he kept lifting it and buying houses and doing things like that. Yeah, he spent it. He loaned it and gave it to his friends. He gave it to the Democrats. He gave fifty cents to the Republicans. And uh, you, you want to make it feel million. like the Democrats are criminals, right? Is that your well, they took thing? the money. Don't you think they ought to give it back? And maybe some of these people that got well, ripped so off. Well, so did Republicans. So did Republicans. Yeah, and, and I'm sure they're going to give back the 85 cents that he gave them. Do you know who one of the uh, the big, bigger people that lost money? Uh, yeah, it was the guy from uh, Shark Tank. Yeah. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin I said that the other day, and you said, no, 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 no. You know, but yeah, it was no, the, well, no. Here's how he lost it. Okay, he didn't exactly lose it. No, no. Well, he put no. it somewhere where he can't no. find it. No, they asked him to be one of the people endorsing the product. Okay. They're suing those people. Well, that, you uh, let me finish he, what I was uh, going to say. All right. So he he endorsed them. Uh, yeah. You know, did the commercials for them, and in payment for those commercials, he got Bitcoin. Or whatever the oh. coin is, the coin of the realm for Bankman. Yeah. And that's where what he lost. He didn't lose money he threw in there, from what I understand. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. I, I think well maybe he, he also lost the gain that he perceived he had mm -hmm. on that money. But there there's a lot of people that did lose and there's a lot of these other influencers that uh, supported uh, these uh, crypto Currency things, and they're being sued now 
because they endorse them. I, I don't know. Well, that no, you can it, it is a different. For that. Is it, look, to begin with, let's separate endorsement from uh, from did a commercial for them. Yeah. Okay. If you do a commercial for somebody, they pay you to do the commercial. In the yeah. case of Larry David, he did the commercial, but I don't know if you remember the commercial. But through the I whole didn't thing, see the football through, game. Through the whole thing, he was he, he was a naysayer. Oh. Okay. Oh, this will never work. That'll never work. And the, oh, crypto, that'll never work, right? Yeah. So really, the question is, was he just being paid to do the commercial, or was he endorsing the product, which he clearly was not in that particular commercial, because yeah. they did it, you know, for the humor of it all. Yeah, and tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, but... Uh, uh, you know, I, these people shouldn't be suing anybody. These people were stupid to invest in it. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, if I ask them, well, where's the money? Show me the cash. Come on, uh, pay me off in crypto. Come on, get, go into your pocket and get a crypto. I know you're going to show me your coin again. Uh, I'm buying GabNet. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> that ain't worth a, worth a crap either. <laughs> I got that one free from Alan. You did? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It's uh, I, I've seen them uh, for sale now for like ten dollars. That that'll be the most crypto will actually be worth at one in one. Well, I mean, these guys I'm were kind of, idiots. They were morons. Yeah. You know. Well, a lot of people made money on the way up, but when it crashed, it it crashed. Well, there were some uh, people who made money and then got out of it. Yeah. 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 Well, you know. It's it's greed that uh, that creates these kinds of frenzies. Well, I mean, look, uh, you know, you, you talk about Ponzi schemes, and yeah, they're Ponzi schemes. But why do people go along with these Ponzi schemes? Pure greed. Pure greed. Right. So, am I supposed to feel sorry for their greed? No, no, not not at all. No, you know no. uh, some of the things that they would teach us in these classes in the in the police. By the way, account. I'm going to go get myself a tums here. My oh, stomach right. is bothering me a little bit. Yeah, oh, here they are. So uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. It says uh, tums. It's, it's really not tums. In here are Kirkland. Oh, uh, Kirkland. Oh, okay. You you switch them up. You're you're like the uh, the uh, no, I just guy need, that throws I just, a party. I just need and to bring. I need a container to put them in. Well, you're the guy that throws a party, gets the Dom Perignon champagne bottles, and then fills it up with cooks. You know, <laughs> cooks. Well, cooks cook champagne. It's like a dollar seventy-seven for uh, or some of these four bottles. Another. It's not called cooks. It's something else. No. Okay. Well. Uh, I don't know. I I didn't see. Any, I saw. You you know, phony, I saw it was in gonna, your pantry. If you're uh, gonna buy phony champagne, you know, yeah. know, know what you're buying. Okay. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see what else is going on. Hey, um, talking about not having any money, I, I read an article uh, that uh, people's sex lives are suffering because they can't afford to go out and. Uh, and ha have dates and and wine and dine and be romantic, uh, because. Uh, yeah, but listen, if you don't have any money to go out and eat, at least the only thing you have left is to stay home and fuck. Yeah, you well, know? what they're saying is is that the staying home and fucking is suffering, because they don't have any money, and I guess it puts pressure on relationships. Even uh, even uh, Bankman Fried's girlfriend left him. I guess the money ran out, you know. Well, she certainly wasn't somebody you could count on. <laughs> no, well, uh, you know, when he had $32 billion, I guess you could. But. Yeah, yeah. Well, at so, $32 billion, he looked a lot better than he looks now. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I saw him, he was being interviewed by somebody when he still had money, mm -hmm. and he just looked like a, a lost puppy. And, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, he always uh, was... Uh, loser yeah yeah he, he was a real strange cookie yeah and uh, you know and and anybody that invested money with that guy got what they deserved i mean you know that that's like tony telling us to invest in uh, brand new comic books you know yeah. it's 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 the future 
Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, a- anyway, uh, uh, there was um, a- another thing about sex. Uh, Weinstein uh, is. Po- wait, and this is wait, 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 wait. The word sex and Weinstein do not well, go rape together. And Weinstein. Do not go okay. together. All right. You had predicted, I don't know, probably when this first. Uh, uh, a Me Too movement started. Uh, mm-hmm. What's that about three, four years ago? Mm-hmm. At least you had said that Weinstein would get off, and they're saying that there's a possible hung jury. That the jury's been out for nine days. Really? And uh, you may have predicted. Uh, well, he didn't get off here in New York. No, I just said that no matter what happened, he got off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that's what I meant. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's, uh, it's strange. If you got enough money, you can buy justice. Well, no, that's you know? not necessarily true. I mean, or, or, or if you don't have money, you, you're going to get convicted right. every time. Right. Okay. Exactly. You don't have a chance in the world. But if you've got money, you can hire lawyers. You know, I mean... It, the, the problem you've got here, and I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but it's, it's, it's the kind of defense that Weinstein's lawyers would put up, and mm-hmm. that is that these acts were consensual. Now, and they were. I, don't, I don't agree necessarily from what I've heard that they were consensual, but... You know, he didn't tie them up and and again and I talked to you about floor. if people get to get their money stolen from them in a Ponzi scheme it's because their own greed let them led led them into it okay so if you want to be famous that's not greed too well no what I'm saying is th- then you have to say okay here are these women now who uh you know I mean there's some women who he just purely raped okay yeah you know by force did not you know, oh. at least they're claiming that. Yeah. But there are others who did it because they were brought up to the room. He walks back in from the bathroom with no clothes on. He says, you know, and they're thinking to themselves, well, I, I'd really like to get a contract with Weinstein, you know. Well, and then how many- so, so the argument then gets made by the lawyers that it was consensual. Now, it's not consensual because he was a man of power who was using his power to yeah. lure these women into a bedroom and to then further go ahead and have them do whatever they were going to do with him. But something that has occurred since the beginning of time with other people, too. Well, that, 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 that doesn't make it right. Have any of these women that claim that he, they were forcibly raped uh, uh, appear in his movies over and over again? No. Okay. No. I, I don't think any of them were successful as a result of whatever they did or didn't do. I mean, many of them got up and walked out. Yeah. And they never worked in Hollywood again. Now, there again is the argument that uh, here are people who uh, uh, he wanted something out of and didn't get it out of them, so he then made it impossible for them to ever work in Hollywood again. Well, yeah. I think that's actionable, you know? Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, when, what we, when it comes what, to what, all I'm law. saying is what their lawyers are going to say and try and convince a jury is, hey, so and so wasn't raped; it was consensual. Uh, it, you know, the thing, I'll tell you what I've said over and over again about Weinstein. Uh, if it were Paul Newman doing it, nobody would complain. Yeah. All right. If it's if it was uh, Harvey Weinstein, you look at this guy. I mean, what woman would want to go to bed with this guy? I mean, None. what a disgusting, vile. Do you uh, think it's a labor law thing that he also violated? You know, I mean, as an employer, I couldn't do that look, to an employee. Look, if you're going to get expect- him on stuff, forget the labor stuff. Just go go for the rape. You know. Yeah. I mean. Uh, I mean, the man was obviously disgusting, in, not only in his behavior but in his looks. Yeah. And uh, what I'm, but what well, I'm saying is, help. if he was a really good-looking guy, you know, if he was a good-looking I, I, guy, I, he I, wouldn't have to do that. I, I said to Marjorie, <laughs> I said, if the same thing that uh, oh, say Weinstein did to these women, uh, Paul Newman did to you. 
Yeah. What would you say? She said, I've been going around telling my friends, guess who I just fucked? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, it, it part of part of his, uh, what he was guilty of was being ugly. Yeah. You know, being disgusting. I mean, no, I, 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 I cringe thinking of any woman who had to sleep with this guy. Yeah. You know? But I mean, nevertheless, they can, you know the good lawyers will make an argument that you know there's some question here of whether it was consensual or not. Yeah. Now uh, I guess. And uh, by the way, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that you know I'm I'm, I'm sympathetic to Weinstein because no, I'm absolutely be. not on no level. He's a disgusting. Yeah, you can't be. I, I you know I feel oh, like he's well, getting away. I, I think he's yeah. getting away with murder if he doesn't get convicted in this. One other factor here, and this is yeah. a factor that you know that I I like to bring up because uh, I'm not in I'm I'm not on the inside of Hollywood. Okay, I'm not I, just because I was in radio didn't mean I was on in the inside of Hollywood. Maybe I was in the inside of radio in San Francisco, but yeah. not Hollywood. Even I knew what he was doing. Yeah, it was no secret. Everybody. It, there was yeah. no secret about what Weinstein did in his method of operation and the way he lured people into his bedroom. You know, yeah. so the women before they ever did it can't say, "Oh, well, I didn't know he was going to do that." Come oh, on, yeah. I knew. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the casting couch. Well, forget about the. Ca I hate that term because. It seems to indicate that there's some common practice that goes on all the time. Yeah. And and I'm sorry, but that wasn't necessarily a common practice in Hollywood. Happened a yeah. lot. But it was really more people using their power yeah. to lure somebody into the sack. Okay? Yeah. Like, you know, there's the old stories about, uh, about Kirk Douglas. Yeah. You know, that he, for instance... Well, it was said. Mm -hmm. I can't say for sure because I wasn't there. Dead. Okay. Yeah. That. Uh, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, that. You're talking uh, about Kurt Douglas. Kurt Douglas, uh, that he he raped Natalie Wood when she was fifteen. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, even uh, uh, what's and, I mean, on the uh, sensibly because he brought her up to for casting. Yeah, yeah, who who was the guy that uh, uh, what was the child actress that uh, uh, something black uh, uh, Shirley Temple? Yeah, uh, wasn't she raped as as a there's youngster? There's a story that she was, but they uh, there there's no proof of that. Or uh, you know, this thing of the story about Kirk Douglas was kind of fairly well known. Yeah, you know, um, but Natalie Wood never talked about it. You know, she just got on with her life. Yeah. yeah but uh, still, it was, you know, it, 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 there was a story that he had had her come up to his office and he wanted to talk to her about a party. If you may notice, she was, she was never in a movie with him. Really? I mean, she went for the audition, but she never was in a movie with him. And she was one of the best uh, child actresses in Hollywood. Yeah. A beautiful, beautiful Amazing. girl. Oh, God. I was uh, in love with her. You know. A uh, Tul uh, Tulsa King. Hmm, Tulsa that, King. Yeah. Yeah. This last episode was so violent. The only thing that was as violent as that on TV was when Tony Soprano strangled Soprano? that guy. Soprano. Soprano. You know, he strangled that guy on the floor. Do you remember that episode? A bit vaguely. Uh, it was it was brutal and. Uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, this this scene was as brutal. Do you know this is the first time he has ever played a gangster? Really? Yeah. He, he I find, guess he, he may find that hard hero. to believe, but they 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 he he's never played a gangster. Yeah. He said and he begged Scorsese to let him play a gangster any number of times, various people, and they wouldn't hire him as a gangster. He said that they wouldn't hire him to be an extra in The Godfather. Oh, yeah, I think I heard him say that. Yeah, he, yeah. he applied to be an extra in The Godfather, and they said he didn't look Italian enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that show. I think it's a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah. You know, it is. Um, I think all the shows that Taylor Sheridan does are good. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think that uh, so far, unless it changes, uh, what is it, uh, Yellowstone is not as good as it had been in previous uh, I think I think yeah, most pieces. people would agree with that but you know you, you only go so far with uh, with something but uh, you know then he's doing Tulsa King so he still has the ability to to do yeah to, to well do you know five epi- five seasons it's mm-hmm. hard to keep turning out uh, things of that level you know uh, well he he's also doing he also did uh, 1883. He's mm-hmm. now doing 1923 with Harrison. That starts this Sunday with Harrison Ford and uh, Helen Mirren. Yeah. You know, um, he, he did this other show. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it was about a guy who who works in a prison. Uh, and it was on Paramount Plus. I mean, this guy's done a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. Taylor Sheridan. And, uh, uh, you know, and although I watched the last, uh, the last Yellowstone I liked a lot. Uh, wh- when they were herding the cattle and the guy died against the tree? Yeah, yeah. I thought that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was, was, that really, was well done. Yeah, yeah, it was well done. Um, saw a good movie tonight. Yeah, what was that? It, it, uh, it's, on, uh, it's on HBO Plus, uh, Max, rather. All the other ones are called Plus, so I thought. Uh, HBO Max, and it's called the uh, uh, the Banshees of uh, um, what's the last name of it? Banshees of uh, was it an Irish? Uh, yeah, thing? yeah. Uh, 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 let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to God. I'm trying to remember uh, Banshees. Let, hold on a second. Let me type this in. Hmm. Let's see if I can find it. Banshees. I'm trying to remember the last name of it. Uh, mm. b- 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 the Banshees of uh, I- in a Sharon. Uh, what it, is the it, Sharon? It, 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 it's a, a, a mythical Irish oh. town that this takes place in, and it is just really good. It it's uh, done by the guy who did In Bruges. Did you ever see In Bruges? No. Oh, great gangster film. Yeah, uh, and this is just a great movie. It's it's a very simple film. I, I to tell you what it's about would almost be to ruin the plot. Wow. Well, okay, you know? I'll, have to, I'll have to get HBO. And then we yeah. watched uh, uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which is unbelievably great. Uh-huh. It's a classic. Okay. Yeah, uh, I hadn't seen that either. Yeah, it's better than the Disney. I mean, by yeah. a mile. It's just wonderful, and um, we also what else do we see? We saw a couple other things that we really like. Oh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. did a thing about his father called Senior, and of course, are I, these all uh, on TV the, network? Kind yeah, of that, that was on that was on Netflix. Uh, Pinocchio's on Netflix. And what was the other thing Not, we watched on Netflix? There was one other thing we watched. It was just terrific. So, oh yeah, a film called. Uh, Emily the Criminal. Yeah. Yeah. With um, Aubrey Plaza. I don't know if you're familiar with Aubrey Plaza, but she, uh, really good. Really good. So there's been a lot of good stuff we've been watching, you know. Well, that's good. You know, there, there hasn't been some good stuff for a while. Yeah. And then uh, we've got the, uh, supposedly it's pretty good, the uh, uh, sequel to, uh, what was that detective movie? It's called Glass Onion. And it's a, it's a sudden, what do you call it, mystery. I can't remember now. Anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, uh, there were also some other things coming out, too. There, there are a lot How do you of, find of things these out. things? I go on Netflix, and, you know, it says recommended movies, and, and I'm stuck there, you know. I, uh, how do you search that stuff? Well, I'm looking for some of this stuff, too, because, I yeah. you know, I like it, you know. Oh, and, you're, and you knew that it existed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, yeah. Hey, um, do you think, uh, you know, there, there's some Russian commanders. They're talking about the nuclear option. The new, what? New, uh, nuclear option. Nuclear. Yeah. But, you know, they're, they're, they're saying that the Russians are low on ammo. Uh, they're using bullets that are over 40 years old. And uh, they're, uh, you know, they're running out of resources. 
Uh, if that's true, uh, do you think there's a possibility that they would uh, resort to that because they know that NATO is not going to stand I up? Don't, I don't think so because I think that's that's the that's the the buck stops here moment. You know, I mean that's when the nations of the world will say that's it. You know, but now, when we're talking nuclear weapons, we're not talking about the same nuclear weapons you think of. Well, they were saying it was 10 times stronger than what was at Hiroshima. No. No. As a matter of fact, they are less powerful. But they're nuclear nonetheless. Yeah. And, they, and that spreads. That spreads and so on. Yeah, but they, they're, not, they're smaller because they don't find they don't need the kind of... If they, if they dropped a bomb the size of Hiroshima... Uh, uh, the the wasteland that would exist as a result of that, you know, these these low yield nuclear devices are what they what they use. But mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to use it. I don't think he. I don't think he may be crazy, but he ain't stupid. You know. Yeah, I'm not sure, and maybe his generals would use them uh, without his permission. I think his generals want would like to get out of there. To be honest with you, yeah, I think they feel it's a losing thing. Even if, let's say, for a moment they win, I was thinking about this today that they they win on some level. They mm -hmm. they manage to take over the country. What's left is, you know, I mean, in order to get to that point, they would have to destroy the entire country. But I think that was uh, Putin's plan from the beginning was to lay waste to the country and create a buffer zone between uh, Russia and uh, the NATO countries. But that's, so, not a, that's not a buffer zone, you know. Well, you Nothing's, got a whole what, what is a buffer zone today when you can shoot a missile from Poland and get it to hit Moscow? Okay, yeah. there is no buffer zone. Yeah. The, I mean, the old days that was a buffer zone, the old days when there were no nuclear weapons or missiles or things like that. But that's not the case anymore. Now, if know. we give the Ukrainians Patriot missiles, what 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 is the reach reach of a Patriot missile, and what kind of devastation could it uh, levy? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think their the Patriot missiles go quite. A, they were when they were doing them in Iraq. Yeah. Uh, they were shooting them from out in the ocean somewhere. You know, so hmm. at least you get that kind of yeah range. Well, but, uh, you know, uh, let's see. One other thing. Okay. And then you steal we, the bags at the self checkout. Hmm? So if you do, you use those self checkouts, and when you do, do you say that you're taking, you know, a couple of uh, Walgreens or CVS bags, or or do you say you're taking zero bags and you still take the CVS bag? I bring a bag usually. Yeah, usually. I I just think it's disgusting that we have to pay for our bags today. I mean, what do they expect us to do? Put everything in our arms and walk out the door? You know, I I go to the Whole Foods and I I got a whole bunch of stuff on there, and I always forget the bag in the car. So uh, you know, they say, do you want a bag? I said, nah, I'll just eat it here. You know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you, you have a car, you can throw all that stuff in your trunk. I'm talking about me. I got to go home. I need a bag. Right. What do you mean you're charging me for a bag? You just charged me 50 bucks for all the food I bought. You can't right. give me a 15 cent bag? Is it 15 cents in New York? Because it's 10 oh, no, now. I mean, no, I'm, no, I'm talking about yeah. that's what they're worth. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. of course you're going to sell me that 15 cent bag for like a dollar fifty. <laughs> yeah, I understand. And they do. That's what they charge. It's yeah. dollar fifty. And that so, was all because our mayor said, oh, no more plastic bags. Well, they still have plastic bags. I got news for you. Yeah. But you got to buy uh, them. Well, you know, wh what I'm noticing is that they're having more and more of these self-checkouts, mm -hmm. whether it be at Safeway or... Um, yeah, uh, me, I got to go home. I need a bag. Uh, wait a minute. What do you mean you're charging me for a bag? Jeff has his audio on. Well, that's because he's he's good. <laughs> he, he wants to reiterate the you know the conversation. That's what they're worth. Oh yeah. They yeah. got to the callers, man. Talking bags. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're talking bags. I'm falling asleep. 
Yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. Do you pretty... steal? Do you steal the bags at the self checkout, Brian? My hmm. people shop for me, so I don't know what they do. All <laughs> I got people. <laughs> Why is this conversation boring, Brian? Not boring to me. Yeah. See, Bill, go, Bill goes through his list like at the end of your nice conversation. He just he has his show notes and he starts going through everything. Right. You know he yeah, does. I'm more, not going to. He does more, waste. He, he does more. I'm not going to waste yeah. the post it and not use it. He does. <laughs> he does more prep for this show than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do prep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you you were always in a, a knew exactly what you were going to do at Camel. You didn't have to do any prep. You went well, in. I never boom. no because I always uh, had I, it was I, I'm doing prep all the time. I'm watching the mm. news. I'm watching somebody do this or that or the other thing, and I uh, I just never needed to prep that stuff. Yeah. You know, I should probably do it now because my brain is going. But you know, yes, Alan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, happy week. Uh, something you and Phil were talking about real briefly here, casting couch. How many women did you go to bed with, Alex Bennett, because you were Alex Bennett? <laughs> well, there were, there were, there, you're, you asked two different questions there. <laughs> well, I assumed you had a cast. I thought there was three. No, 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 no uh, there, I didn't. There, no. there were women that would send Alex pictures. There was one named Red. And uh, she, you showed me the picture that she sent, and you said, you think I should go out with her? And then you ended up using my apartment. But uh, yeah, the, well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And you had a stalker, which I, I got rid of. I you. asked Alex, shut up for a minute. You know? yeah. <laughs> a minute, a second. But I was his tough guy. I, I got rid of his stalker. See, he doesn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, 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 what, you, you're confusing a casting couch. With you, with your, with being a celebrity and getting laid because you are a celebrity. I know the difference, but uh, the uh, you know, I never, about... I never, in any way coerced a woman into the sack with me, never. Even though I was me, Alex Bennett. Okay, uh, women, some women coerced me into the sack because I was Alex Bennett. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay. but I never coerced them because I was. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. I was rather distrustful. Uh, the the woman that I was going to bed with, you know, going to sleep with, would maybe turn around and turn that back against me, or or try and use it for something. Do you remember the stalker? Uh, Which you, stalker? You, well, she she was stalking, Bill. and uh, what happened was you said, you know, take care of her. So I, I said, look, if you don't leave Alex alone, we're going we're gonna to have Ice Pick talk to you. And I, I just pulled a, a, somebody's name out of the hat that I knew was the doorman <laughs> at the Condor and, or the Hungry Eye. And she knew who that guy was. Mm -hmm. And she said, and she, and she said Phil, you know, uh, she, w she talked to you and she says, oh, I'll, I'll stay away. I'll stay away. I don't want Steve the Ice Pick to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to, to, to interfere with uh, me. You know, I don't remember that story at she all. She was calling the station and Sounds she was like calling bullshit. you at home. Um, uh, Phil yeah. tried to justify that he was your friend back then. <laughs> yeah. Phil, don't, don't worry. Can we believe you? Just don't I, I was as heavy. <laughs> yeah, but no, I uh, um, no, but I'm saying that you know you're mixing up a casting couch with uh, uh, celebrity and being able to use your celebrity to, to get laid, okay? And I didn't even use my celebrity to get laid. Uh, women would bed me down because of who I was, right? You know? So I didn't need to do any coercing. Plus, even though I'm not, the, I'm not, I'm no spring chicken, and I certainly wasn't a. Uh, a really handsome guy when I was younger, uh, women did find me attractive, you know. So, power. Uh, huh? Power. Not, not power that. over them, but just power, the power that you had presence. The, uh, it was emanating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean. Uh, Even I thought you were handsome back then. Yeah, and a lot of them, what? <laughs> Wait a minute! You thought I was handsome? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Well, just all the uh, uh, yeah. Well, I, I find you attractive. Let's get together sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony! Hey, comes here's Tony. 
<laughs> he just he just finished with the beatdown. Speaking of not attractive. <laughs> no, yeah. Right on cue. Right on cue. Yeah, Tony. your camera looks perfect, Tony. Don't don't don't. Do oh, I didn't turn it on. I was. No, no, no. Out. You're fine. Hey, good, no, you're this fine. is good enough, Tony. I don't oh, Tony. Hold on. I didn't shave actually. Oh, oh wow. I got Hello, Tony's chin. <laughs> no, nobody ever notices, but I don't shave for about a week. But you don't see it. You know, you don't, these don't webcams mean. don't really, you oh, know. Oh, there I am. Hold on. Yeah, where are you? Hello, man. <laughs> I got. I made friends with a Jamaican man in the radiation <laughs> treatment. You want to know what he told me, Alex? I'm trying to avoid him, so I'm waiting to leave. Where's like, this? Where's this? Where? What? Uh, radiation treatment. So he comes up with me. He goes, hello, man, Mr. Tony. I go, oh, shit. <laughs> he says, my girl, my wife. My dick is dead. How's yours? I can't believe this. This is a conversation I'm having waiting for my dad. Wait, I, think what, I think what he wanted to tell you, Tony, was don't put Nair on your balls. So now they gave him Cialis <laughs> to get a hard on. And you know what he did? He told me, he says, I took one. It worked. Like, I really care. And then he goes, he went to the bar. He sold two, two to two guys. The guy's selling Cialis, he's telling me, in the bar by him. Tony calls me from the cab. My, from the taxi. You heard him, Phil. Did you hear yeah. him? He calls me from the taxi or the Uber, and I hear this guy He's talking amazing. about this. Yeah, we, we shared a cab on the way home. He lives in a rough can, part of Queens, I can say. Can we go no, back? Can we go wait, wait a minute. Hold, hold on a second. Uh, 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 Brian has a question. Can we, oh, can, yeah. we start, can we talk about shopping bags again? <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. I'm sorry. laughs> and Phil, you're 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 you're, you're like over oh, yeah. hmm. my what? Your your Phil, microphone sounds terrible. Phil, Phil's sort of oh. racist. He only well, whose microphone sounds terrible. Bag. He says no. Mine. No, yours sounds fine, but turn it down a little bit, maybe. Yeah, turn it down. Too loud. Yeah, you always yeah, overpower my, Alex, my everybody. My sister called me what? when the guy Phil. He, she called me on a lunch break from a teaching. And she heard the guy in the back, is that your sister, man? I said, let's just leave me alone already. I was trying to hide in the bathroom. Well, he's got, he's got uh, Cialis. You know. I know. He got to, I called you. I was thinking of you. By the way, uh, turn, do, 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 do us a favor. Turn off the lights and let's see if you glow. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little tired. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, Jesus, he actually believes it. He's going to. He, <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, he does. He's glowing. He's glowing. Oh, yeah. That's nice. He's visible. Well, that, like, that shit. better I backed off, Brian. Yeah, there I am. Yeah, no, better. Yeah, much better. Much better. Anyway, anyway, uh, Tony. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It, it, it uh, so you're going through all these See, he's going through the how many how many days is this? Oh, this is day 13. Mm -hmm. I feel good though, really. I did what he did. Yeah. The, the and it didn't make around. you any better of a person. But the <laughs> the uh, the what do you call it? The stereotactic uh, treatments uh, are <clears throat> only five of them, and mm. uh, it's a lot more radiation than you're getting now with each of your treatments. Mm. And uh, I, you know, I, a week and a half took me every other day, week and a half, mm. and then they went and they shoved these seeds in me, you know, so. Told me no, I, feel, I actually feel fine. I don't really feel any different. Oh, that's okay. You haven't gotten up to day thirty. Now, did you feel right. anything different, Phil? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, you guys got that spacer. Yeah, I did get the spacer. They yeah. didn't give me the spacer, and I, yeah. I had issues with uh, um, uh, urinary issues. People, but that has, that doesn't affect that that isn't put in there to stop urinary issues. What it is. Is a spacer? They put it between your uh, your you prostate it, yeah. and and bladder, and your um, um, where where's the other area? Some other area where they yeah, radiate. Yeah, right underneath. You show me a diagram. Of yeah, it. it's to prevent your Sorry. your prostate your prostate. Oh, your prostate gets radiated. It's between your prostate and your bladder, yeah. so oh, that your I bladder so that your bladder doesn't get affected by the radiation. That's it, yeah. yeah. But I didn't have a, a prostate you didn't have that? radiating me. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, no, but they should have put some kind of it. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm Who knows? Right. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they ripped the prostate out first. 
Oh, and they literally like ripped it out. Later. They didn't. Uh, they didn't do any oh. operation or anything. They put their hand in there. And they, <laughs> they, 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 they used the machine, <laughs> like, and and, with, and they and they cut five holes in my gut, and they mm-hmm. used this oh, machine that goes in there. And uh, you know, uh, we really I, want this description of what went yeah. on, oh, Phil. Yeah. Hello, small oh, man. Uh, uh, especially no. say it slowly again, because Brian wants to hear it. <laughs> well, then they food. gave me a bag and made me pay for it. Did you get lunch on the way out? Maybe, like, <laughs> maybe they didn't like you, Phil. That's why they didn't give you the spacer. Mm. Yeah. The doctors couldn't stand Phil, so they used a robot to do the surgery. <laughs> you deal with them. <laughs> anyway. Does anybody that, hear that there's a mechanical way you can reduce your prostate by by mechanical stuff that you do yourself? Wow. Really? I just, I just read about this. I, hear you, I think it was no, called masturbation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would, yeah, I mean, it's about the same thing, but apparently it works <laughs> for certain people. So the table. You know, well, sorry you guys had it, that surgery. It, it didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah. That's, so supposedly, if you masturbate more, you, you have less chance to get. Yeah, prostate. you might find that after you get really? all this radiation. Oh, really? After you, after you get yeah, all this radiation, I, I won't be a candidate. I'm actually yeah. hungry. After you get all this radiation, Tony, you might find you won't be able to get an erection, but you've never needed one anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, if the doctor asks me, Alex, he goes, Doctor Sean comes in. He's like, "How you doing, Tony? I'm doing good." He goes. I see you're a CGC comic today. Says, would you know where I can buy Pokemon cards from? This is my this is my uh, Monday uh, informal. That's your doctor? Said, yeah, yeah I mean, he was a nice guy. His son is in the Pokemon. So he said, would you mind? Is he, at, he, is he at every radiation thing you're at? You do? Yeah, he's my main doctor. Yeah, he because, runs the whole place. Because my doctor, he's my Pokemon. doctor, my, he's my, a nice guy, so my, I gave him some my oncologist was in the booth every time they did it and help them set up exactly where they were going to, you know. Yeah, that's what he does. He does exactly. every setup, yeah. Yes, well, folks, this is what we talk man. about on this program with nothing yeah, but I, old I people person. and, well, one younger mm-hmm. one, in the, in, 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 which is Brian. No, pe- well, people he's not that young. Uh, what are you I'm the youngest, to... yeah. I'm getting... What are you saying, I'm Brian? Gonna... Oh, <laughs> shut up, shut up. Uh, I've had a few people die <laughs> lately, so not just the girl I talked about the other night, but oh. a couple other people, too. So Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. Uh, getting the whole, you know, getting older, more funerals, less. Oh, boy, what what not... were they dying of? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, well, colon cancer and then the... It, you know, no doctor, never until late. But then, uh, mm-hmm. then one just got screened for colon cancer because they found blood in his urine, and then I don't know why two other people passed away, but I know their brothers really well. And then mm-hmm. the girl who had uh, pancreatic cancer, yeah, that, that was like a year, a year of radiation and everything. And one one guy, he's like on the verge. He's like, uh, he was pretty chunky before, and then he. That was four years ago, and I don't know what the answer is. And then he he's lost all this weight, and now he's tried all these different kind of uh, things, radiation, and all these other weird things. And then now he's now he's just shrunken up, and now he's having a hard time getting up and breathing and stuff like that. So does uh, he have ALS? No, no, no. I don't know what it is, but um, but uh, yeah. So yeah. he's just. He's just like almost like a skeleton now. So. You can turn yourself up just a tad there, Phil. Just a tad. Up, up a yeah, tad. Yeah, just up so a tad. Down. A little closer. Yeah, there. Yeah, down. That's fine. That's fine. All right, right there. All right. Yeah. Anyway, so, <clears throat> hello, Brian. How are you, other Brian? Hi, I'm good. How are you? No, hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> the Brian. Brian too. Brian, Brian Sigmund, ladies. And yeah, gentlemen. if I gotta climb in the bathtub, I will. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll do it. He's our bathtub guy, and Kevin has joined us. It's it it, it it this time of year when you walk down the street, do kids come up to you and go Santa? All the time. Really? Wow. Yep. And so, what do you do? How do you react to that? I wink at them and then talk to their mom and scare the hell out of them. Oh, I- <laughs> never tell them I I heard you were bad. <laughs> yeah, you ever watch Jimmy Kim Jimmy Kimmel and his little elves thing with the kid? No. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's hilarious. Did, did you see the one this week? The the kid was just adorable. <clears throat> yeah, they all are. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, it's it's kind of fun. And then I played Santa for the concert last week. That was good. Yeah. Oh, Santa okay. the Barbarian. Yeah. Do you still have you still have the whole costume and everything, right? 
Yeah. yeah. That was the first time I put the whole thing on for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Did it need cleaning? No. 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 I don't wear it long enough to get it dirty. Oh, okay. Did kids ever throw up on you when you was, you know, I, I went to visit you in that, uh, where you were sitting in the big chair. The big oh, yeah. Chair. That was a, I oh. missed you by like 15 minutes. Yeah, it was like six or seven years ago. Yeah, yeah. lucky, lucky. Yeah. Lucky, now, lucky did, Kevin, he didn't get now, did the kids, all over him. kids ever throw up on you or pee or, or any? No. 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 It's a lot of crying. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, here. if we're really lucky, a uh, 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 week from Friday, Santa might actually visit this show. He usually yeah. does. Right. Oh. Yeah. 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 It, uh, same room. Did you say you were getting a Christmas tree? Who me? Hanukkah push. No. Huh. Okay. No. 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 Hanukkah I'm, bush. I, I, How about I, that beef and bakia in the corner. Well, you'll hear the story tomorrow night. I tell the complete story of the time my wife and I got a got a Christmas tree. Not this wife, another wife, yeah. and uh, the one that speaks perfect Yiddish. She wanted a Christmas tree. Of course. You know. And, uh, it, you know, I mean, uh, it's just something that when I grew up, we just never, we never celebrated Christmas. Uh, I can't say we celebrated Hanukkah either, but I still got Christmas presents as a kid, even though my birthday was a week before Christmas, and I got presents for that, too. And you're going to yeah, say, you were one kid. And you're going to say, Alex, how did you turn out to be so spoiled? And that's the answer right there. Oh, my man. parents made sure I got gifts for both because I, there were no other kids in my family. So, you know what? I you didn't grow attention. I, like, my like birthday is three days after Christmas. I always got screwed. <laughs> really? And not like not like Phil either. Just uh, like you got that. screwed, huh? Really? Yeah. Because my parents, that. my parents, you know, it was my birthday i wake up on my birthday morning there were a whole bunch of presents and the next week it's christmas and there are a whole bunch of presents there the next wow. morning so would you now for hanukkah you get eight days of presents <laughs> that's bullshit you know no. maybe if you're some yid living out in brooklyn okay you know but not here no. yeah i can not say yid, not the bay by area the way. Can I let say, get, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me check, let me check with the camera. only other real Jew here, Jeff. I can say yeah. Yid, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, but yeah. I got a Christmas tree because I got this uh, wife who's a uh, Christian. Oh, ah. is your wife a Gentile? Oh. Yes, she is. Oh, and I was so nice to her. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say you killed Jesus? <laughs> no, no. So you have a Christmas tree in your house? Well... I don't have one, but she has one. She has one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, did she go out and buy it and trim it and put the whole thing together? She, yes, except the last time she did it, yeah. my cousin was here. And my cousin goes, oh, can I put your Christmas tree together? This looks like a lot of fun. Mm. Was it a real tree or a uh, one that you assemble? No, nah, this is the real it's the real deal, huh? Yeah, come on. She's not going to. Well, you know what? My feeling is, my feeling is, and I'm not a Gentile, but if I were a Gentile, I would not, never get one of those tinsel trees, you know, one of those phony trees, because, come on, the, the, what's festive about it is the fact that you're bringing something from the outdoors indoors. Yeah. Looks you know, like the tub's got, got one. Yeah, what? I'll show you what it looks like. A Hanukkah bush. Oh, there yeah. it is. Yeah, wow, very wow, nice. Wow, you are married to a Gentile. Oh, that, that Man, that, like a that's, a re that, that's a real Gentile tree. Yeah. Do you, you don't have a tr tree, do you, Mr. Sigmund? <laughs> no, I, I thought I saw a tree in there. That's a tree. Oh, yeah, my look God, at look at that. Oh, we should have like a, 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 well, let's see here. I think that that's almost <laughs> as good as Jeff's. I don't know, let's <laughs> vote on it. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I would think, uh, Tony, you would go out and get a tree. Actually, you're gonna yell at me. We don't. We put. We had a fake tree we put up. Did you really? I no, didn't fun. doubt that. It's just three pieces, though. It's so easy just to piece it together. This is my tree. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You're gonna get a bigger one, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. Sure. You even have what? I, it looks like you have on your ceiling. Are you? Do you actually have uh, some lights up on the ceiling, or is that just the reflection, reflection of the tree? Who are you talking about? Uh, me? Uh, Brian no, Sigmund. Brian, uh, yeah. Sigmund. No, no, but um, I'll give you another image of the tree. I, I don't know what you. Oh, you remember. got a big one. Yeah. Wow, oh, that yeah. thing. Oh, wow. That yeah, thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, big, big, I'm a big deal. Yeah. Did you have that to cut? like a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, that, yeah. Well, well it, 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 it's a lot of work to be a Gentile. You know, yeah. it really is. Wow. Yeah, we, we just get a little oh, Look at the doggies. Oh, 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 how cute. How cute. Now, do you have any kids at all, at all, Brian? Stepchildren, yes. Stepchildren. How old are they? Uh, 18 and 15. Okay, so, but it, it's not like they're little kids that you're doing it for. No, no, no. This is all for, like, blah 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 it, you know yeah it's all to make everybody just calm the fuck down this yeah. is what it's for well i had stepchildren but i killed them all because i can't stand kids so. <laughs> aiden the oldest he's doing he, he's in he's in Vokey for senior year to do hvac and he's already signed up for the penco tech right up the road where i went years ago yeah so, you know, he's falling behind. Then you have uh, Sam, who's like a little wrestler, boxer, and all that bullshit. And I have stuff built in the backyard. I have a little gym out there. You know, really? I don't know. Whatever. What do, you, what do you do, like two 30-pound cylinders at a time of refrigerant? 30-pound? I do 20, well, 25-pound cylinders. Oh. Well, when I was doing it, we used thirty-pound cylinders. You worked out? No, I was. I did heating and air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Work out? What's that? What did you do? You plugged in the electric? Oh, Can look! I... Phil's got his boyfriend behind him on the screen. Ah, it's your boyfriend. I uh, I got the workout uh, shot. That's one uh, of those. That was a ground and pound. I could never understand boxing or that, okay? It's not really boxing. I mean, two people get into the <laughs> ring. I mean, my father, I always told the story. I've told the story before. My father loved to watch boxing. And Friday sure. night, they used to have on TV the Friday night yeah. fights, right? Sure do. Presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. Yeah. I don't know how beer and boxing go together, but I guess you have to get drunk to try and beat somebody mm -hmm. else up. But anyway, my father loved to watch boxing. Now, my father was one of the gentlest, kindest people I've ever known, and a real gentleman. And I couldn't understand why he would watch boxing. And one day I finally said, Dad, you know, you are so, such a gentleman, and you were so kind to everybody. And yet come Friday night, these two guys get in the ring, they start boxing, and he's yelling at the TV set, hit him harder, hit him harder, you know. And I went to him, I said, what do you see in this? He says, I like to see two guys get into a ring, beat the crap out of each other, and then be glad I'm neither one of them. <laughs> so I accepted that. And he, he, go ahead, Dad, enjoy like really it. What? You know, your father could have been a cop. Because you go up to you go up to these uh, calls and you get to watch these guys beat the shit out of each other. Like maybe if you saw a great boxing match, like I can reference the best box match I've ever seen. I think was Hagler Hearns one. Who? I don't know if anybody ever Hagler Hearns, Marvin Marvin Hagler and Tommy Hebron Hearns. <laughs> that first match, that first round, that match. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, uh, oh, you, you're gonna, it, you're gonna I mean, love that. That was the best match I've ever seen because they came out and that match when that first round they were just they were landing shots like you knew that wasn't going ten. They were just hate each other. Who was the boxer that uh, was uh, went to prison uh, for for rape and uh, bit uh, um, Holyfield? Holyfield. Uh, who was the guy that bit him? 
Uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. He's being famous. interviewed this week by Tucker Carlson. Really? And, uh, it's an interesting interview. Well, I think he's kind of an interesting guy, actually. He's become a rather decent human being. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. He was uh, but um, Gabby, Gabby was one of my favorites. Who? I buy I buy his pot regularly. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. he has a pot business. Selling pot? Really? Yeah, his pot business. He has uh, something he ha with Holyfield. Yes, he he has a brand of pot. Really? Mike's bites. Mike's Mike's bites. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> And Holyfield's partner, right? Yes, Holyfield's uh, endorsing it and everything. And uh, they were on together being interviewing each other, I think, and saying how they become was, good friends over the years. He, yeah, he yeah. was asked by Tucker Carlson, are there any of the fighters that you were in the ring with that you like? And he says, yeah, uh, Holyfield. Yeah, but he, he took a nice chunk out of his ear. Yeah. But he could, you know, was, he couldn't box with him. When Tyson went to jail and came out, he was never the same. Yeah. They're blood brothers now. Oh, um, right. Mike Tyson. He came South Jersey, and he he sat down and did all kinds of autographs, and it was a madhouse. The dispensary that was near me, like when I'd say near me, I'd say like five miles up the road. It was insane, and to this day, you go there and they have a case of his. The signed memorabilia, and you go in there and you you buy his stuff because he he was one of the original investors in the pot industry. He he was starting farms and all that, so he has all this stuff. So I bought it, and I I I spoke one of them today. I mean, if that means anything to you. And did you get, uh, did you get a piece of ear in there? No. No. They, well, he 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 does he does have those gummies that are in the shape of the ear. Yeah. In the, in the oh. Blood it's red pretty, gummies. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. When did they legalize pot in New Jersey? You're in Jersey, right? Yeah. yeah this is about a, uh, two years ago, maybe. I would say so. It took them almost a full year to just implement it, but they yeah. finally did. Oh well, we're so, having a real crap show here in New York. Yeah. Because they're, they're, uh, the fight is, here. here's what happened. They decided that they were going to give out the first uh, dispensary uh, licenses mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. who had gone to jail for selling yes. pot. Okay? Experiences. Well, hey. I know. I'd rather buy pot from them than somebody who doesn't know pot, you know. <laughs> And uh, all of a sudden, they're making a big deal. Oh, that's unfair to the normal people who want it. Well, no, I think it's a nice way of saying, hey, you know, we thought this was illegal for years, and you suffered by it, but now you don't have to suffer anymore, and you get to put be put in the front of the line to get these licenses. So we're stuck on that, all right? And all we want to do... That was agreed, though. Huh? But that was agreed. What do you mean? It was, that, a, it was it, that the people who had gone to prison mm -hmm. were now able to sell pot yeah like, they were they were in the front of the line let's put it <clears> that way yeah. and um i just i felt that was wonderful now that there's a big fight about that so as to whether how soon these dispensaries are going to open up they they should have opened up this month but i don't think they have yet yeah. but so i hear was, i hear you can go into head shops now and buy pot Mm -hmm. Even you though could, they, I guess. huh? You what? probably always could. <laughs> it, it, no, you couldn't. It, uh, no, you couldn't. They, was they would say pharma that is fighting this. Uh, you know, saying hey, you know, like uh, what <clears throat> was it Nestle or uh, I don't think it's big pharma, but I think it's like uh, Reynolds Tobacco or yeah, something. people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, they, Alex. They, they want the license. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Sigmund. Um. So. I, I, I want to give you just my little point of view here. Yeah. So in, in, in New Jersey, we have had a problem with property taxes for many, 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 many years. Yeah. And it's been a real problem. We have the highest property tax in the country. Mm -hmm. um, so and, and most of that is because of schools. So if we had followed the Colorado 
um, their 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 type of template mm -hmm. and put all of the pot sales into education. What we would have done is we would have helped everybody across the board with with the marijuana. But what mm. what what was what was said to be done and this is one of my problems with the far left liberal point mm -hmm. of view mm -hmm. what, what 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 they have done and i'm a big murphy fan i'm a big 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 fan of murphy but what what he was advocating for was that all of those all of the pot sale money would go towards communities that were adversely impacted by um by the the, the, the drug laws yeah. So okay. that yeah. went to the worst communities in the state, Newark, Newark, Elizabeth City, Jersey City, that kind of thing. And and to me, what that would do is that would gentrify those areas, number one. And number two, it would raise the values over time to collect more property tax. If they had put that money towards education, they would they would have addressed the, the, the elephant in the room, which has always been which has always been um, uh, property taxes. Mm -hmm. so, it, so to me, I really think they screwed up because they said, you know, it was all about this touchy-feely liberal thing where it's like, oh, let's put this towards communities that have been negatively impacted towards, uh, towards these, these drug restrictions and drug laws and, and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do it to address everybody. And to me i think they really screwed up they i mean i i it's to me I, i'm pretty upset with the governor and his approach on it even though i love the governor and the things that he's been doing thus far yeah right well, yeah. can i can i say something about california yeah. uh you know you you would hope that the money would go to the schools but this is what they did with the lottery in california uh, we, we used to give uh, a lot of money to the schools and then they instituted the lottery and they said that the money that the lottery yeah, makes yeah. would go to the schools. Right. So what they did was the lottery money went to the schools, but then they stopped giving the other money to the schools. So really it was, uh, there was no positive impact in the amount of money that was being given. So that's an example of what happened in California it is a precursor to, to show what what the governments do when they get this extra money is they just divert, uh, you know, what they were getting in the first place, and it, and, it, and there's no positive impact. Okay, let me give you one other little thing that's going on in New Jersey. I have a friend who lives in New Jersey. He came over to visit us one day. He said, uh, you want to smoke a joint? Yeah, let's smoke a joint. Ah, did you get this stuff at the dispensary? No, I got it from my dealer. Why? The dealer is cheaper and the pot is better. <laughs> <laughs> So there's still an illegal market for pot yeah. where they thought, ah, we'll get rid of it now and so on. But the pot that they're getting is not as good as the pot that a dealer gets. And the dealer is selling it cheaper to being competitive against the dispensaries. I understand that the pot that they're selling today compared to what they had 35 years ago uh, is, is hands and, and feet and, you know, heads above what they used to have hands well, and heads okay. yeah yeah what we used to get was sticks and, and, and yeah. texas you don't have legalized pot yet do you charlie nope you don't <laughs> not even medical really? wow <laughs> what a backward state yeah. must be ran by republicans yeah, yeah. Got his hand up. yes so what is yes thing is connecticut really um you're allowed to have smoke to have pot Okay. But you're not allowed to buy it. <laughs> wait a minute. So wait, wait, wait. you go to Massachusetts. Yeah. Right across the street, so to speak. And you buy all you want at their prices. And then you can come back and smoke it in Connecticut because it's okay to smoke. And you could do whatever you want to do with it. Is, is it any good in your experience, Jeff? Yeah. I mean, it seems good. Yeah. Do you smoke pot, Jeff? Not too much anymore. I don't do that, but you know. Yeah, I don't smoke. You know what I when I use it, I use it to put me to sleep sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I just listen to this show. <laughs> That's enough. We, we just listen to you. You're out like a light. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Uh, I also get little things that you're supposed to chew on and stuff like that. Oh, they have the gummies. I, I don't like. I'll tell you. I don't like. I tell you. I don't like the uh, ingestibles. And I'll tell you the reason why I don't like the ingestibles is because they're just not as controllable. Yep. You know? Mm. It, 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 people find that you guys find that to be true. Well, those who smoke pot, like, uh, well, uh, let's ask somebody who knows. Tony, well, <laughs> <laughs> forget it. <laughs> mm. But uh, I, uh, uh, I, I, it's just I. You ingest it, and then it makes you too high. You know, I don't like to get too high. I just like to, I'd like to be able to puff on something. No, if I just take one puff of it, I'm going to get just so high. I don't even really like uh, the um, the vapes. Uh, Alex, uh, the worst thing you can do is 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 ingest it. Really? It, it, it. You metabolize it differently. Uh, you know, it's not something you should be doing. Everybody, every, wait a minute, everybody metabolizes it differently. Uh, mm -hmm. But not, but not when you're eating it. Well, when you're what, eating what about the Alice B. Toklas brownies? You know, uh, back in the '70s, and uh, boy, how far back do you go? Yeah. Well, no. that's yeah. about the last time I smoked pot. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I smoked it at your house in Sausalito, and I ate all your David. Well, I have cooking. a little, I have a little inhaler. I have a little, and I'll sometimes take a puff off of that just before going to bed to give me that extra little trip to La La Land. You know, but I, I don't really like to get high anymore. It's just, I don't know. Well, I'm taking too many drugs every day, yeah. so it's like yeah, it's just another one. It's another one. I want you know. Yeah. I get too many. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, but I think it's wonderful that it's legal. You know. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all dreamed for the day. Oh, oh puppy, puppy, puppy! Oh yeah. Oh, got his oh, pig. oh, and he's got what is that? What what kind of uh, toy is that? It's Mr. Honkers. It's it's <laughs> Mr. Honkers. It drives me crazy. You can't watch anything on the cell but just, uh, just Yeah. It, 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 it sounds like Mitch McConnell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Mitch McConnell. You're right. Well, it was the old story of, of Truman Capote. He was oh. taking a woman out to dinner, went over to her house, and she said, I'm going to get, I still have to get ready. I'll be out in a moment, in a little bit. Just, you know, hang out here. And oh. she had a dog, a little dog. Uh, and the dog comes over and has a ball in its mouth and drops it at Truman Capote's feet. <laughs> so Capote mm -hmm. says, I took it and I threw it, you know, and it bounced around the room and like dogs do, they go bouncing around the room with it, right? He throws it again and bounces around the room. The dog goes, you know, goes up there and grabs it, you know, and, and finally he throws it again and accidentally it went out an open window and he was in a high rise oh. and the dog went yeah. chasing it. Oh, no. And, and and I think he told the story on the story on the Jack Parr show years ago. And Parr said, "Well, what? How did you handle the situation?" He says, "I didn't say anything about it. I just got her coat, put it on her. We went out to dinner, and about halfway through, towards the end of dinner, I looked at her and I said, "By the way, have you noticed your your dog being visibly depressed lately?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You know, but... <laughs> <laughs> is that a do sound coming out of a dog? Or is it... I, I, I said to the guy at Tracker Supply today, he goes, Cause I buy these treats and they last me about three months. And when I say these treats, I mean like $300 worth of fucking bags of treats. And, <laughs> you know... I, I when I handed the guy the pig, I said, "I'm going to regret this," and he goes, "Yeah, you're going to regret this." Yeah. He fucking knows because it's Mister Honkers. Oh, I it's, see. That's, that's what a, it was. That's a toy that's making. Mm. God, yeah, we I'm, thought you I, had had a burrito earlier today, Brian. Yeah, I know, and I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't mean it to be like. 
the, the noisemaker doesn't last. I long. would suggest something though. It should be called Miss Honkers, not Mister oh. Honkers. Oh. Miss Honkers. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not binary, so you're right. <laughs> Anything you want it to be, yeah, I'll, I'll go along with it. What's the pronoun of that pig? Yeah. <laughs> Oink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's see how we have. Uh, let's see. One person from California. Two people from California. Tonight, three people from California tonight. Four people from California. Wow. 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 I wonder why. Huh? I wonder it, why. Well, they we all came to listen to Phil. Well, all, it's all, earlier in California. I know that. <laughs> I also know that Alex used to work there 27,000 years. And all these people listen to me, with the exception of, uh, of Alan. Alan. Tony. Tony and I. Well, uh, t uh, Tony, did you ever listen to me on radio here? Uh, yeah, Sirius. Oh, oh not, Sirius. I was too young in the 70s, though. Sirius like, XM, mm -hmm. but not, not like, my... No, not PLJ. No, not I the, listened to you on PLJ. Did you really? Yeah. You listen to me on WMCA. Uh, well, I knew you were on WMCA. I don't think I listened to you. Well, yeah, I did, actually. You used to complain a lot. Uh, Nothing. So changed. what's changed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the one that I listened to that nobody else did. What? Alex. What? Florida. I wish I would have heard you. You actually about. heard those shows in Florida, didn't you? I was in Florida at that time. Oh. <laughs> Boy, you don't remember the lady. Yeah, two weeks or so. <laughs> no, it wasn't two weeks. It was three months. Come on. Really? And some of your best work was on CNET. <laughs> Jeff, don't you know you're supposed to move to Florida later in life, not move yeah. out of Florida? Well, he left it because I was there. That CNET yeah. show was very interesting. You know, I, I used to look forward to listening to it. When you had that morning show on uh, CNET Radio. Yeah, it was kind of morning. It was like uh, 10 in the morning to... It, I didn't hear you much to... in San Francisco. I was listening to somebody else that you knew, Terry McGovern. Yeah? Well, I was better than he was. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and There's Dr. A... Don Blue or whatever. <clears throat> Dr. Don was. Rose. Rose. Don Rose. Rose. There was Blue. Don Blue and there was Don Rose. Okay, what do I know? Yeah. Well, it's nice to hear you listen to all the wrong stuff. <laughs> you know. Meanwhile, we were having a lot of fun. You know. How's that possible with Phil in the room? Did you listen to me, Kevin, when I was in San Francisco? Wait a minute. His mic isn't on. It. Sounds it like good. Of course, Mr. every Kevin. single morning. Loading trucks, you're blasting through the warehouse. Okay, and that yeah. was at that was at the Live 105, right? Yeah, and yeah. K Fog and wherever. Oh, well, not K Fog. Before that, I was at the Hamel. No, and Qu the Quake. The Quake. The Quake. Yeah, I started at Camel, K M E L. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. K M E L. Boy, the worst thing about that job was every now and then they'd have like a big promotion, right? Then they go out somewhere. And you know what they would do? They'd hire a camel. The 50-foot camel. No, yeah. hire a camel. We had that oh. inflatable camel. I, I, I thought that was Phil in the camel outfit. <laughs> but anyway, we, but we also they would also go out and get real camels. I never saw them. Oh. And they oh, are, I got to oh. tell you, up in the animal world, they are the nastiest animals. They are stinky, nasty, gross freaking animals. How did you? How did you? Uh, then no doubt, no doubt, you've had the pleasure of working with them. No, they, I've just been around them. Oh, they they smell. They, they smell and, and they, you them. know what they do that's worse than that? They spit. They spit. Yeah. They spit. Yeah. yeah. And and I I just and I, I said if there's going to be a real after a while I said if there's going to be a real camel at that event I'm not going I'm sorry I don't want to be anywhere near a, a camel. One hump or two. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had this big inflatable camel. I remember that. A giant, giant inflatable camel. Uh, not as big as a Macy's Day Parade balloon, but huge. It's like 50 feet, I thought. It was big. It was really yeah. big. And um, Did they also smoke uh, their cigarettes? Is that what? 
part of their uh, advertisements? No, we, no. we uh, you, you, in those days. You used to smoke believers. in the studio. No, in those days, cigarettes couldn't advertise. You couldn't? No. No, no, wow. no. Um, hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, wait, no, wait. Excuse me. It was alcohol. Yeah, it was alcohol. You cigarettes had... Cigarettes. you could advertise. Yeah. Now, you always had a cigarette burning in the studio. Uh, oh, I was, I, I was a big smoker at one time. Yeah. And then one day I quit, and that was it. I quit when I was like 40, I think. <clears throat> It's a good thing. Oh, yeah, I quit just in time. Not everybody who smokes, it, 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 well, not everybody who smokes gets cancer, lung cancer. Mm -hmm. But, but they get any one of a number of other diseases. And so where, let's say, maybe only 20% of the people get lung cancer, another <laughs> 5% get this and the emphysema and that and other thing and so on and so forth. So this is about an 80% chance you're going to have a medical problem from smoking. Well, you can have all kinds of heart problems with uh, oh, cigarettes. Yeah. Well, that's one of them, too. Yeah. But the thing, yeah. the thing is, I always said, I, I, <clears throat> I said I could only blame the cigarette companies up to a point because I think what happened was uh, uh, ready-to-made cigarettes didn't come out till the 20s, something like that. You know, Up until that time, you had to roll them. So when you had to roll them, you just rolled pure tobacco, which wasn't as bad for you as the stuff with the chemicals in it to make it burn better and the saltpeter and so on. And you had to roll them. When you didn't have to roll them anymore, the whole nature of how much you smoked and when you smoked and so on changed. So then it was another maybe 30 years between the people who started smoking those cigarettes and the time we started to see cancers as a result of it, um, because a very slowly progressing disease. So but we were also being lied to. They were telling yeah. us that it was glamorous and that no, there wait a minute, was no, wait a minute, no wait, but wait a minute. Issues. Up to a point, the cigarette companies didn't realize that it was bad, bad, that bad for you. They knew it wasn't great. People got coughs from it, and so on and so forth. But they didn't know it. And then all of a sudden, one day, they did know it. They saw there was empirical evidence mm -hmm. that all that smoking over that period of 30 years between the time they introduced the ready-made cigarettes and the mm -hmm. time the cancers started showing up, that there was something wrong there. And mm -hmm. then they started covering it up. And that's where they were guilty. I, I love the way they use menthol to make the cigarette easier. Menthol mm. has got like 40 more carcinogens in it. Yeah. Than just a regular cigarette. Oh yeah. Then they had the Virginia Slims for people like Alan and. Uh, well, Virginia you know. Slims were marketed to women. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I like that. Well, I'll food. tell you what I what I what I used to smoke all the time were the Sherman cigarettellos. <clears throat> yeah. And I think that maybe saved my life in a way because those cigarettes didn't have any additives in them. Uh. You smoke Salem's? Huh? Salem. No, that's one of those uh, for a short time. Oh, you know, uh, I knew men. Well, they must have been more expensive. That oh, Sherman's were very expensive. They're, yeah, they were. Well, they were. You know how what ex, what expensive was? They were a dollar a pack instead of fifty cents a pack. Oh my God! There you go. That's a lot of money when you're. But, you you know what they used to uh, they use Sherman's years. for? Is they put PCP in them. And they would say to a smoke, if you saw a guy that was on PCP, he says, yeah, I had a Sherm. And so what they did was they put the PCP in, you know, on or in the Sherman That's cigarette. I never heard they that. I never yeah, heard they, that. they said they smoke Sherms yep. in, yep. in the ghetto. You know. <clears throat> I never heard that. Yeah. Well, you weren't, you weren't a police officer out arresting these people. No, but I was a p person smoking Sherman cigarettellos. Yeah, well, <laughs> you were suspect. Where, where's your PCP? Uh, oh well, uh, you know. But but I. So but, when you go to prison, do they still give you cigarettes or? No, no, no more. No, no more. Well, how about they used to, they no used to right? Yeah, it was it was money. Really? Yeah, no. now they use stamps. I think. I wonder if they allow smoking on death row. <laughs> we That's a killer. That's a good question. I'd stop smoking. Probably not because they want to pull the switch. Yeah, I, I still yeah. have that friend of mine still on death row. I should write him. 
Yeah, man, the guy that used to you used to uh, write back and forth with was he ever on your show or yeah, called in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they no, were going to execute him. He got to stay. No, he never. He never That's got why to. He's on death row. He, he never got to the to an appointed uh, execution day. And now they. I don't think they ex execute in California anymore. Do they? No. Oh. Or if they do, they, they they still have it on the books, but they don't do it. Yeah, Rose Bird was the first one that stopped that, and then they Rose impeached Rose Bird and the Supremes. Yeah, Supreme yeah. Court, uh, California Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah. I think if your mother wants to do it, they'll they'll do it. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I had there, there, there was there was a point at which when I was still on the radio there, they were going to execute the first guy that they had ever executed in the last something like twenty years, twenty five years. And Ooh. I somehow had an inside person there. And what they do is that they put in the cell, they give him a telephone for the 24 hours prior to the execution because th that way he can call anybody he wants to, his parents, his lawyer, his whatever. Mm -hmm. And so they, he, he, this one person got to him and he was going to call me before his execution. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I would have had an exclusive, right? Wow. I'm sorry. It, you know, when I used to answer the phones, I, I hung up on that guy. <laughs> well, here's what happened. Here's what happened. They were going to, they were, they, if I remember the story correctly, they they had the phone and he was, uh, he said, I need the phone. They, they gave him the phone. They said, and so he started dialing. He said, who are you calling? And they said, Al he said, Alex Bennett at Live 105. Oh no, he's a commie. Hang Wait up. a minute. They yanked the cord out of the wall. <laughs> wow. They wouldn't let him make the call because I had not been, I've been very critical of the prison system. Okay? And they didn't want him calling me. So the guy went to his death without being able to be the, me being the last guy he talked to. Mm. No requests. Yeah, no, but I mean, it was, <laughs> I, I, I almost <clears throat> thought about suing the state of California over that one. Saying, you know, you were interfering. First Amendment. Yeah, First Amendment, the whole damn deal. You know, plus he was told he could call anybody. It wasn't like, you know, uh, and he was choosing to call me, which I, you know, I, but I, and, and I was always against the, the death penalty and so on and so forth, and they just didn't want him talking to me. That dog loves that toy you bought him, Okay. If you ever take that toy away from that dog, you're a dead it, man. It's, it's bullshit. Um, yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Honkers it used to be a blue one, but now it's a yellow one because I bought it today, and now look at her. That dog is, like, mesmerized. Yeah. Hooked it's on that toy. Over Mr. fucking Honkers. When, when my dog used to get, I used to get her the, uh, the squeaky toys, the squeaky hey. thing would only last a short period of time. Yeah. Right, because it puncture your hole in it. It would get stuck no, in No, what I'm, think, yeah, what I'm thinking was what happens if the dog swallowed it? You know. No, you can't get to it. It just stops working. Yeah. Oh. I, used to, I, I was telling, you'll hear it on tomorrow night because I tell uh, Kra Kravitz's story about the time with the Christmas tree that my cat decided to eat the tinsel off the Christmas tree and then was walking around the apartment with a piece of tinsel sticking out of her ass. And I had to like, I finally yanked it and it, all this tinsel came out with poop on it and everything, oh, it was terrible. God. And a cat very mad at me, by the way. I'm, yeah. you know. Hey, listen, yeah. there's our theme song, hear that? Two That's minutes. our theme song, what? It's two minutes. Well, we're almost through here. Yeah. I'm wrapping the show up. Yeah. So that yeah. Jack can have a chance to get. Oh, he is. Is not. he on again? No, no he's not. Uh, <laughs> no, he's not. He's How's he doing? Off, he, uh, he's doing okay. I just don't know when. He, he, uh, after the first of the year, he'll be back on. Okay. And we only got one more week after this before Christmas, and then we're off anyway. So, anyway, thank you, Phil. Appreciate it. You know, always appreciate it. Uh, Jeff, thank you. Good talking thank you. with you, uh, Alan. Wonderful mm -hmm. having you here. A wonderful, oh, Charlie. Always wonderful. What does your shirt say? Science. science. The good thing about science is true, <laughs> whether you believe in it or not. <laughs> true. 
And thanks to uh, uh, to uh, Brian. With and my shirt, San Francisco Giants. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, here's my T-shirt. It says uh, Play TV. See? Yeah. I like This the, shirt, shirt is almost I 20 years. Old. I don't know. What did my shirt say? I can't read. It says, if you can uh, read this, uh, I've lost weight. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Tony. Thank you to Kevin. I appreciate it, Kevin. And thanks to the other Sigmund and his dog, who's not giving up on that toy. Anyway, everybody, uh, 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 just wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, there's no programming coming on after this, although we are going to play an old... Uh, 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 intersection program for you uh, but uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night same time same station in life and in the meantime as always if you see her tell her I love her okay bye bye everybody see you later